I'm Diane Snyder from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. And today we're celebrating 10 years of Call the Midwife with a woman who has been there since day one, Emmy-winning actress Jenny Agutter. Anne is one of our great success stories, Sister Julian. She's been living at our Ealing branch house while she's been doing her nurse's training and her part one midwifery. But she first came to us at Cork after her mother passed away. How old were you then, Les Corrigan? I was seven, sister. In season 10 of Call the Midwife, we're in 1966, and Anata's house is once again facing money woes. And this forces your character, Sister Julienne, to try some new things. Can you tell us about that? I can't give away too much about it, but she is um, she's really extending herself to find something. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite a dire situation with the, the possibility of the house just closing down. And, and also it's a matter of finding what their relationship is within that community and how that continues. Um, so yes, yeah, she's, she's, she's finding lots of different areas to look at. And there's one particular one, which she, um, she gets Trixie involved with. So um, yes, and, uh, and Trixie's very pleased to be involved. Uh, it's, uh, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting project. Um, and then as, it, as things go on, she has to find other ways. So it's, it's, it overrides, in fact, the whole thing. I, I, I feel that she's nervous all the time, all the way through this about what they're going to do, how it's going to continue, how they're going to work. Mm -hmm. um, but we're on to season 11, so we've, we've managed to get through another year. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell you that. You renewed through season 13, so <laughs> I, mean, I think Minata's house will be around for a little bit longer. Well, as you mentioned, it's set in 1966, so it's a time of change. And even for the for the nuns at Nanada's house, there's this challenge or this conflict between the old way of doing things and the new way of doing things. And that tests Sister Julienne's beliefs. So what is what is that like to, to play in this character? I think that um, her faith is never really shaken. Mm -hmm. Her view of how the... Um, Nanata's house and the order works within the community is, was questioned actually in the last series where one of the, um, one of the patients that she's talking with, one of the, um, a woman just says, well, it's all right for you, you've got your, your habit on and, and you, don't, you don't know what it's like to be a woman out and about. And um, Sister Julian realizes she is very protected and she lives in a very closed world and then decides she'll, She'll try going out without her habit on and, uh, and realizes it is probably a little harder, but, but she's, so she's very aware of the differences between, you know, Nanata's house and the nuns, the midwives and the community. Um, but she addresses those things, you know, once she's taken that on board, she's the sort of person that just will always um, take the next step and just make sure that she does, that she is aware of all the differences and the difficulties that the women are having. And um, you mentioned that this season takes place in 1966. And I was going to ask you what your memories were of 1966, because you would have been a teenager, but you would have already been a, a working actress in that at that time. <laughs> yes. Um, my view of, of 1966 would have been very, very different from Sister Julianne's because being a teenager and a young teenager through those years, you know, it was about the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Bob Dylan. It was about, you know, hearing about the Vietnam War and things going on and watching the, the, the men landing on the moon. It was a very, very exciting time, particularly to be a teenager. Uh, it just seemed like it was a brave new world full of extraordinary things. Yeah. But yes, I was also, I had already started acting in the, in the 60s and it is actually possible, now we're in the mid 60s, to be able to see me on television as a child. So if Sister Monica Joan is watching, she could watch me do some, some of the television I did. <laughs> Gotta work that into an episode, definitely. <laughs> We are, we are definitely looking forward to season 10. Season 10 of Call the Midwife uh, premieres on PBS on Sunday, October 3rd. Jenny, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. And we look forward to season 11 and the Christmas special. Thank you very much.